Well, it all came down to one routine. Just one 40-second routine, making history and ending a 16-year drought. That routine saving the day after the Clark Kent of Pommel Horse shed his glasses, took a deep breath, and pummeled the Pommel Comet competition. Steven Nederazic was selected for Team USC, USA rather for this exact purpose, putting an exclamation point on an already fantastic day for the men's team, solidifying their place on the podium. It was a triumphant day for the men, redeeming themselves after a rough showing during qualification. Brody Malone, Asher Hong, Frederick Richard, and Paul Judah sticking each one of their routines on the way to Olympic glory. Three of them join me now, Brody, Asher, and Mr. Clark Kent himself. Gentlemen, you have proven that good things come to those who wait. And I know you're chuckling because, you know, Mr. Clark Kent's been getting all this attention, right, guys? Brody, Asher, you okay with that? Are you giving him a hard time? Oh, that's oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but it's it's all good. <laughs> it, it's all fair. I know you guys. I know you guys love each other. All right, Stephen. Speaking of waiting for all things good, uh, there you were sitting on the bench, eyes closed, didn't have your glasses on, truly waiting two hours before your history-making 40 seconds. Can you just take me back to the bench and tell me what was going through your mind? Yeah, so when I'm sitting there, um, I'm getting my breathing right. You know, one thing about these competitions is, man, do you get nervous and your heart rate starts going. So one way I control that is through breathing exercises. So I do that. I try to stay in my zone and just close my eyes and visualize that routine, doing it perfectly every time in my head. While I was sitting there, I was just over and over visualizing my skills. And um, I could hear these guys just going absolutely ballistic, especially after Brody's routine. Um, there's, a, there's a slight moment there where I popped my eyes open and looked at him and gave him a quick smile. And I was like, dang, these guys just hit every single routine before me and I'm ready to go. Well, talk about pressure, right? You were the last one to go. <laughs> you know, these guys, these heroes right next to you, I mean, they nailed all their routines. And then it came down to you to try and break the Team USA 16-year medal drought. So now take me through those 40 seconds and how did you feel the minute you stuck the landing? Yeah, so walking up to that podium, I heard my boys, they said, you know, we trust you, we have your back. And those are the words I needed to hear as I was walking up to that podium. You know, that just takes so much pressure off of me, um, you know, because they had just gone out to war out there and now it was my turn for the battle. Um, I went up there, talked to my great coach, Sam McCulloch, three-time Olympian. He just knows exactly what to say to get me in the right moment for that routine. Uh, so he hyped me up, and then I was standing there, the green light came on, and it was showtime. The one thing I always do when I sleep is I shoot a quick smile to the judges. You know, they always say, uh, if you force a smile, uh, it makes you happy, you know? Um, <laughs> and then I just stayed within it. Yeah, exactly, right? And um, I just stayed in the moment for the whole routine, and hearing these guys just cheer me on the whole time. Um, by, by the time I got to the dismount, I thought to myself, in my own head, I was like, if I put this dismount up and stick the landing, uh, we get a team medal. So literally, as I'm in the air falling to my feet, you can see the smile already coming to my face. And man, was that a moment <laughs> I'll never forget. Oh, I love that. And hey, it doesn't hurt to smile at the judges, you know, give them a little extra love. You just <laughs> never know. You know, some of them can be a little uptight. All right, so Brody. You, <laughs> exactly, you, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. I can feel it. All right, Brody, you have made the ultimate comeback at these games. We have to lift you up. 15 months ago, even getting to the Olympics might have seemed, you know, out of reach for you after that catastrophic knee injury. You battled back to make this team. What does this bronze? mean to you and how the heck did you turn everything around uh yeah uh I mean it was it was a crazy injury it was a fluke accident but uh I mean you know when you have a support system like I do um, my faith played a, a big part in this uh, my faith in God and then um, I mean my teammates my coaches all the medical staff that helped me uh, get back to this point. Uh, I mean, it honestly made the journey was hard, but it made it a lot easier to have a support system like I did. I love that your faith uh, plays a part in all this. Um, were you able to share that with the guys? Was it more personal or did you feel you all sort of not only came together as athletes, but also, you know, some good spiritual energy as well? 
Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, of course, I sh I'm very open about my faith, so I definitely shared that with the guys. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, uh, we all just went out there and we did it for each other, and it was, it was awesome. There you go. Asher, you compete with one of the hardest vaults in the world. It's so hard that most gymnasts wouldn't even dream of trying it because it's so dangerous. Three flips in the air with a full twist. What does that feel like flying through the air like that? What goes through your mind? I mean, I, I can barely see anything because I'm rotating too fast. But. <laughs> But honestly, you know, it's it's a fun vault to compete in front of, you know, thousands of people. And, you know, people are always waiting for it, too. So I get excited. I get hyped for it. Um, I do it well in training. So, you know, I just trust that and, you know, hope for the best. But, you know, most people think I, I look death in the eyes as I do it. But, you know. You do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know what? It's a good thing you have a strong man of faith next to you because he'll take care of that for you. All things will be good. Look, all, <laughs> yes, Absolutely. there you go. And I, it's just, it's so great not only to lift you guys up as athletes, but as friends supporting each other. You're also different in so many ways, but you come together and are such an incredible and beautiful match. Gentlemen, you made our day. Thank you so much for such a great interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.